an overall feeling of the critics, which came out in a lot of them, was that it was a, 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 a small story, a modest story, that had been, using cliche, pumped up too much. What would you say to that? They may well be true, but they don't have to hammer me for it. I'm at the worst, I made a mistake. And, you know, it ran at the Empire for over a year. Not bad. As I remember, there was a particular savaging of Ryan's daughter and yourself at the old Gonquin Hotel in New York. Oh, yes, there was. There's a, a kind of, um, I'm not quite sure what they call themselves, but it's a, it's a critic circle. And they have weekly or monthly full of buffets. I sensed trouble from the moment I sat down and Richard Chickle started off by saying, Mr. Lean, could you please explain to us how the man who directed Brief Encounter could produce this, and I've forgotten what word it he used, but it meant rubbish, disgusting material, etc., etc., etc. And it carried on from there. And uh, they're very, you know, they're they're very good with their tongues. And I was there for about two hours. And um, Pauline Kales got a, is pretty sharp tongued. And they just took me to bits. In the end, I remember saying, I don't think you ladies and gentlemen will be satisfied until I do a film in 16 millimeter in black and in black and white. And Pauline Kael said, uh, no, you can have color. And that was the end of it. Horrible. It, it really quite it had an awful effect on me for several years. In fact, I didn't want to do a film again. Did that specific evening have such a, uh, an effect that literally for several years that was one of the factors because you didn't make, a, you hadn't made another film for about 14 years, but that, w that was one of the factors preventing you making another film? Oh, certainly. If you get, as I had, on Zhivago and on Ryan's daughter particularly, the sort of notices I had, um, you begin to think you, that maybe they're right. And I thought, well, on earth am I making films? I don't have to. And um, I didn't for a bit. It uh, shakes one's confidence, you know, terribly. It's, um, I find it very difficult directing movies. And um, one's awfully easily shaken, you know.